Lyles with a few other people. I know in here with my female Magmasaur, my male Magmasaur. Uh, this is our location on the map. We are over at the right Magasaur BR. Our cords is currently. Our cords is currently two five uh fifty two dot six latitude and sixty two dot seven longitude. So we're going to go ahead and turn breeding on for this for this female. My bad for this female. And I accidentally turned her on wandering. Nope, she was just getting in a comfortable location. My bad. The male is also on mating as well. So while these two are mating, the mating should the mating process should go by pretty fast. I'm going to have to go ahead and disrupt them for a few seconds. Just so so I can just make it easier for me to get the egg. I don't want to go in the lava to get the egg or have the egg in the lava. Because the easier for me, the faster I can get out of here. This is actually my first time breeding Magmasaurs. So, pretty cool. Magmasaurs are a pretty cool creature. They're a little bit hard to tame, but besides that, you should be fine. Uh, of course, these are not native to Crystal Isles, of course. But I can show you other places, such as Ragnarok, stuff like this. But as you can tell, this isn't my server. I do not own this. This is the usual server I go on. Escapees. I used to go on Ragnarok, but I had to, uh, you know, change servers because admins wanted to not be nice to me anymore. So. This is Crystal Isles 2, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Crystal Isle. I don't know, no, it's just Crystal. My bad, I always call it Crystal Isle. But this is just, uh... Escapees Fiber Cluster Crystal 2. So, there's also Fiber Cluster Ragnarok. Uh, there used to be the island, but that is now gone. Pretty sure that there's, you know, exclusive maps such as Scorched Earth, stuff like that. I'm not sure though. Don't quote me on that. Actually, I, no, I've actually never watched a video. I've only had people tell me what to do. And I was asking where the breeding place is, and he just took me over here, and I just found a good little spot. Um, it's a little bit farther down, but if you do want to come here, just go to the Truden TP. TP here. Uh, just keep follow. Just go down that little lava hill, and there should be a path, and you just run straight down through it. I'll show you where to go. But that's just because one of the more experienced people on the server has actually told me. This is maybe my third, maybe fourth time on the server, and the egg is now here. No, that's why I did it more on the land part. Is so I can go ahead and get that and I don't have to hover over the lava to get the Magmasaur egg. So it'll just be easier on me. That actually went down easier than expected. I can also show you my shop. Like I said, if you're if you just came here to see the Magmasaur breeding, then you can go ahead and end the video here. I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to get here from the place where I showed you to. Let me make sure to get this bag of meat. God dang it, my game wouldn't stop lagging. But yeah, it's as easy as that. Just some people, I know I didn't know how to for a long period of time. I tried to do it on land and of course you see how that cannot work. This is a, kind of like a dam. Pretty much. Forgot I, I actually have leggings. Sorry, I'm not used to playing with leggings. This is the part where. Oh. My controller wants to work. We could have died there. Okay, we can stop here. And I just need to go up. 
This will take a lot of element as well. I will show you where my shop is just in case you want to, uh, you know, come towards my shop if you, you know, are experienced here. You have your own shop and you want to go ahead and, you know, come over to mine. This is probably just give you normal crystals, so I'm not going to try to risk all my loot. Oh. Okay. At least my game didn't lag as bad as I thought it was. Oh. This is the worst time for you to lag. There's this tree. And thankful, thankfully, for Trudon, or Cookie, as most people call it, has put her base here. So, like I said, you could probably reverse the tracks. There's this little hill. You go down that little lava thing. Keep following that lava. There should be like a little dam. You keep going past that. You you should just keep an eye on the left side. And you should be good. So, again, the TP should be... Over here. You'll have to search my name. It's called Aces Shop. Aces Shop. Right there. The only one. It's also Walmart Griffin Boys. Griffin Boys was my provider for a long time. But. They sadly stopped their shop. So. Kind of a big loss for me. But actually, I forgot what they eat. I'm not sure if I have any. So I'm not going to risk any chances with putting it in the refrigerator. Oh yeah, by the way, if you're wondering how I hatch stuff here, and it will say that it's too cold or something, the way how I do it is you have to put a lot of them down near each other. And they should incubate. Let's see how many eggs we got here. We got a decent amount of eggs. That is for my store as well. So if you come up here, go up here, go ahead and let's go ahead and deposit all of our cryopods while we're still thinking about it. Because just in case somebody wants to drown me or somebody finds a glitch how to kill me, at least they won't get. Uh, magma source. Also, a really smart thing you want to do is, especially for servers like this, you always want to keep an eye on that because they will die. Uh, I will have to look up a tutorial on YouTube of what they eat, and I'm also going to ask people how to get it. I forgot they eat, <coughs> but my tribe mate is canning me on. Okay, so let's see what's the time. Yeah, I definitely have enough time. Just gotta run. Okay. So, as seen... Oh. As seen, you will spawn at that teleporter. This teleporter is always running as long as I got my generator running. So, you pop up here. There's a little divot right there. That's because it's another platform. Two platforms. So, you pop up here. Uh, you know, 3k egg, you know. Uh, normal prices, I might, some stuff is cheap, but that's either because we have a lot of it, or we don't have any of it. Like, uh, for example, these, you have to go to, um, Extinction to get those. But I think, yeah, we definitely made a lot of profit today. Because this is my Bushberry stash. Let's see. Oh, that scared me for a second. Hmm. Okay, that scared me. Alright. So, if we uh, deposit them, 16,432 bushberry seeds. And at the beginning of the day, I started off with 300. So, I'm not going to risk putting in the refrigerator, you know, the egg health going all the way down to zero, so. 
let's see what time it is. It is currently 10.45 p.m. I have to get off at 11. I get to play on my phone until 12. And then I have to go to bed. But let's just hope everybody cross their fingers we get twins. Everybody cross their fingers right now. Cross your fingers you got twins. Okay, that's that hatched a little bit early, but... It is a male. That is not great, but you know what? We're going to have to deal with it. Like at least it has a little bit of its mother's traits and its father's traits. So like I said, I'm not risking it because I had a baby. I've had so many die on me when they were a baby because I didn't give them the right food. So like I said, oh, they were in the other cryo fridge. I need to let the mother sit out. I need to let the mother sit out for a little bit because if I don't, search up cryo. Because if I don't, then the mother Magnosaur will... M-A-G-M. The female Magnosaur, or the mother Magnosaur, will not have the right breeding time. And as soon as I get on tomorrow, I take it out of the cryopod ready to mate them they won't to be able to mate because they're I'm gonna have a two hour difference so either we let them sit out <coughs> we have a small chance of them dying if they sit out or we have nothing at all and let them sit out so I rather take that risk I'm not letting the baby sit out with the mother actually I'm gonna put it somewhere safe that I know if I won't be on for a little bit because something happens I'll be fine oh I forgot about those x rexes they've been in here for a long time totally forgot about them okay I'm gonna let that mother I almost said mommy sitting there I'm gonna let that mother sit in there I want to see these tech rexes. Ah, these tech rexes. Got one female. And got one male. Wait, I forgot. Those are the ones I bought. I bet I have an x rex egg somewhere. Maybe I only bought two. I'm not sure. I think the baby was getting raised at the time. Wait, no, no, no. I got two eggs. I got two eggs. One was a male and the other one was a female. I'm pretty sure I have the male upstairs. So, yeah. So... Uh, God. Let me see something real quick. Are they getting... Okay, we're good. If you're wondering why some have the heart by their name, it's because that means that they have a female near them. As you can tell, the Quetzal, there's only one Quetzal out. Dang, the Giga ain't even big yet. This Giga's been sitting out here for... Who knows how long? For some weird. Guess where the admins have been tinkering with the server so much? There's gonna be a lot of server shut shutdowns tomorrow. So I don't I don't want this Giga dying, and if it dies, I'm probably gonna be really sad. The mature rate is kind of slow. And, you know, I don't want that risk of it dying. It's been perfectly fine out here. Offline damage should be on. So I guess the only reason why it should die is it ran out of food. But if... You know what? Not gonna risk it. I am so smart. The last time I did this with the Giga, it was like at 99% and I had to get off like right then. So I just got off. Then I came back the next day, and all four gigas were gone. So, like I said, not risking it. All my other dinos that are out here, I do care about them, but not as much as this giga right now. Because this giga has is one of the only blue mutations. Full blue mutations. And I want to see what type of mutations it can do in the future. So, therefore, when my tribe mate ever wants to play Ark ever again instead of Rainbow Six Siege for the past seven months then we can start a good breeding session again but like I said until then I'm going to have to do this one man tribe uh, tribe and um, 
So that's about it, guys. Hope you guys enjoy and have a uh, great day. Let me go ahead and lock this off before I go to bed. I don't normally do this, but with all the things that have been going down in the server, I just don't want to risk it. Let me make sure. I have to put on my helmet as well. Like I said, don't want to risk it. The reason why I'm not in their party right now is because I was here raping them and they got mad. So they just kicked me out of the party. Oh, huh. just not noticed. Why does all my armor look like that? Is it like not done right? Hmm. <laughs> what happened to all my armor? Guess I put on the wrong chest plate by accident. Whoever wants that can have that. But like I said, guys, uh, besides that, I'm going to go ahead and get off. Hope y'all have a good day. Alright. Well, besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope if you learned something new today. And um, I hope now you know how to breed Magavasaurs and uh, Crystal Isles. So besides that, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notice so you can get notified when a new horrible stream comes out. Um, my VR is not currently working right now, so I won't post a lot of Rec Center videos, well, Rec Room videos, and um, Fortnite videos are kind of off, but at least my video will not get copyrighted this time. But um, besides that, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful night, day, evening, morning, whatever, okay? Hope you guys have a blessed day, and I'll talk to you guys later.